We begin tonight with some breaking news. A verdict in the Malheur County refugee standoff and occupation. Not guilty. The jury acquits the seven defendants. On your side's Roland Barris explains. Oh, Don, the verdict came down about 520 Mountain Time. A jury exonerated brothers Ammon and Ryan Bundy and five others of conspiring to impede federal workers from their jobs at the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge. Now, some of the defendants also were charged with possession of firearms at a federal facility and were acquitted on that count as well. The standoff began, of course, January 2nd. A few weeks later, at a police roadblock, two Oregon State troopers shot and killed Lavoie Finnicum. One of the occupiers, Finnicum, and other occupiers were on the way to a community meeting to discuss land rights issues. Now, from the beginning, the occupiers never denied that the occupation or their intention of forcing the federal government to turn over control of about 300 square miles of federal land to the state. But the defense maintained the group never engaged in an illegal conspiracy to keep federal workers from performing their jobs. After the verdict came down, there are reports that Ammon Bundy's attorney was tackled by U.S. Marshals as he was arguing with the judge to release his client. The attorney wanted his client to walk out of the courtroom a free man, but the Bundys are still facing charges in Nevada stemming from a high-profile 2014 standoff with federal agents trying to round up their father, Clive and Bundy's cattle. Now, tune in tonight live at 10 for analysis and fallout of all this. Roland Barris, 6 on your side.